Hello friends, this video on Redox Reaction Part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please watch the previous videos. So let's take some example. For example, in this case, NaCl. I told that oxidation is what? Let me write here. Oxidation is a number. Loss of electron. And reduction is what? Gain of electron. Correct. Oxidized loss of electron, reduction, gain of electron. So let's take this example. So in this case, my sodium became what? Sodium plus. Because NaCl is nothing but Na plus Cl minus. And chlorine became what? Cl minus. So if you see, this guy gave electron and this guy took one electron. So loss of electron is happening here in this case. So sodium is what? Is getting oxidized. Right? So this guy is getting oxidized. And chlorine is something which is getting reduced. Here. So with a new definition where we say oxidation is loss of electron and reduction is gain of electron, we say that sodium is oxidized and chlorine is reduced here. We'll take one example here. Na plus O2 gives Na2O. Here also if you see, sodium became Na plus because in this case it is plus charge here and oxygen became minus charge here. So if you see this guy gave electron, if I give you multiply by 2, so this guy gave 2 electron and this guy will need 2 electron. So this guy gave two electron, loss of electron in this case, the sodium is oxidized and oxygen is. Let's take an example, Na plus S. Here also if sodium you see becomes Na plus and sulfur becomes S2 minus. So this has lost electron and this will gain electron. Right? So this guy became oxidized and this is so if you see in this the old definition is also true sodium gained uh, electronegative element sodium gained electronegative element sodium gained electronegative element but in some case the old definition fails so we will not try to solve questions based on the old definition we will always try to use this definition of electron transfer loss of electron oxidation gain of electron reduction so it's, the summary is pretty clear. Oxidation is nothing but the loss of electron of any species. Reduction is nothing but the gain of electron for any species. Oxidizing agent is nothing but the one who oxidized and get reduced. So they are also acceptable of uh, electrons. They are the one who get reduced. And reducing a agent are the donor of electron or they are the one who get oxidized. We'll take some examples. We have to justify that this is a redox reaction. So if you see, this is Na plus H minus. So in this case, if you see the reaction is Na becomes Na plus and H2 becomes 2 of H minus. Correct? And this gave 2 electron and this needed 2 electron. So here we see this is nothing but loss of electron. So this is oxidation process and this is a reduction process. Correct. So here sodium got oxidized and it is nothing but oxidant, it is oxidant and uh, hydrogen got reduced, it is also called reductant. Now you see sodium helped to reduce hydrogen. So sodium is also reducing agent and hydrogen help to oxidize sodium so this is oxidizing agent. See oxid please don't be confused here. Reducing agent is the one who get oxidized and help other get reduced. So agent is what one. For example if I say uh, he is a let's suppose uh, 
marketing agent sales agent sales agent is one who sells the thing right he won't buy sales agent is not the buyer he is the one who is selling similarly is the reducing agent is someone or some uh, element which will reduce for example sodium is the one which is reducing hydrogen which is itself getting oxidized but it is reducing hydrogen so it is a reducing agent hydrogen is itself getting reduced but oxidizing sodium so it is oxidizing agent hope you understand so typically the oxidants are the reducing agent and the reductants are oxidizing agent. correct thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again